Have you ever wondered what it's like to be at the edge of the universe? That's kind of nice. But before you get there, you have to go first figure out how to even get there. That's the first question with the answer. So, well, with our newfound knowledge of gravitational potential energy, we are now able to find the minimum required kinetic energy to get to infinity, or at least get started on the way to getting infinity. This implies we need a minimum speed, called the escape speed. First, we find the difference in potential energy required. Well, at infinity, we define the potential here, and hence potential energy, to be zero. A distance away from infinity, let's call it r, the potential energy here is negative gmm over r. The difference is in potential energy is thus zero minus minus gmm over r equals to gmm over r. By conservation of energy, this potential energy barrier must be provided by the initial kinetic energy, half mv squared. By conservation of energy, half mv squared equals to gmm over r, and thus, by shifting the variables around, we get v equals to square root 2 gm over r. And you know, the significance of that is that that's the kind of the speed you need to like fly out of the earth. Yes.